All right, we just saw a movie that made me wish I wasn't allergic to cats. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're yeah, I, to cats? yeah, I am. Yeah. We, well, the, we, we saw Keanu, everybody. Yeah. It was cute. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. That cat was the most adorable thing ever. Yeah, I know. It's uh, That's why I'm kind of <laughs> glad I'm not afraid of cats, because I'd be like, man, I yeah. want to pet it, but I'm going to throw up if I said touch it. That's <laughs> not saying everyone does that. I'm just joking. He's got <laughs> the cutest little meow. Yeah. It's even cuter when it's in peril. <laughs> I mean, the part where it's like... Uh, it's hanging on to the hood of the car, like someone trying to balance on top of a semi or something. So, yeah, like, oh we, my god! We saw Keanu, which is the, yeah. the new movie by Kay and Peele, the guys who had their show Kay and Peele. Wait, isn't yeah. it their first movie? We well, it's their first movie. I'm saying yeah. they well, no, they've been in movies before, like as really. Well, at least Kay has. Um, Peele uh, or Alex Rubens, I think his name is. He hasn't been in. You guys have really been in, they were both on Mad TV before, like a Mad yeah. TV year. They swear like is where they got their start, and then they got their own show on Comedy Central. Kane and, and, Peele, and it was yeah. a really good show. Uh -huh. And so now they get a yeah. movie, and I thought it was pretty good. It was cute. Yeah, well, there were times where I laughed, but not as much as I. Yeah, me too. I, I was not as, much, as I but, thought I would. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be. I I thought I was gonna be. Bur gut bursting laughing because at the entire film. I was actually probably laughing more at Ratchet and Clank, which you're gonna watch later. But actually, than this. Um, yeah. You know, I thought I'd be laughing harder at this film. Not that I'm not that I'm saying it wasn't funny. There were parts where I laughed, and I've seen the show. I've seen Key and Peele, yeah. and I know they can be funny because I yeah. I've laughed pretty hard at that show that they that they do. But this one, not, most of the time, it was just awkward. Mm. One thing I do want to say I do really like about this movie is. The thing about cats is they're very hard to train. So oh it's yeah. The reason why there's a... more, there's a lot of dog movies, and there aren't very many cat uh, yeah. movies because dogs are easier to train. And I'm kind of glad that they did that because they could have easily just made about a cute little puppy because dogs I... are easier to train. I probably shouldn't have started the camera yet. You guys go ahead and keep cut talking. But uh, what? Uh, yeah, that's the weirdest. Mm. That's weird. Um, Sorry, <laughs> we got you we got an exit. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, but, um. um... But yeah, I thought it was very good. It was cute. I liked that they used a cat. That they were doing something kind of original that it was of a yeah. cat, not just a cute puppy. Because there's kid. so many. There's way too many dog movies out there with like let's let's save the dog from being death, or it's gonna die, or something, or just like fight. Like there's been a million. There's a million movies about dogs. Firehouse dog, the cat, <laughs> cats and dogs. I'm joking about that, and just like a bunch. Of, there's been like so many just dog movies. So it's kind of nice that they're kind of doing a kitty cat instead, a little cute kitty cat. Mm. It was, it was, technically, it's a kid. I have like three adult cats who are old. Of course, Salem. At least Me Too is. Salem is gone, but Me Too is mm. pretty old. He's like he's about the same age as Salem, but he's probably gonna live a little, little longer because he has cancer. I mean, he doesn't have cancer. Salem did. So Aww. <laughs> um. So. Do you have anything else? About this, no, I have plenty. Like this, uh, yeah. I thought I liked Kane Peel. I thought they, they definitely. We, I mean, from the show, you know, already know they worked well together. Yeah, they they have good chemistry. And everyone else, I thought was except for Method Man. I don't know what's up with so many rappers. Like I'm gonna be an actor. Like not all of them can do it. I mean, Common's pretty good, and I forgot there's another there's another rapper who's a pretty good actor. Oh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube can also be a pretty good actor when he wants to be. But and there's others too, but. The only two that I know of that I can think of off the top of my head is Common and Ice Cube, who actually, who actually have shown that they're pretty good actors. But Method Man's all right, and he, he never really, he's not going to stand out to me as something I really remember, except for as the guy who kind of gets them to do stuff or whatever. <sighs> I also didn't suspect to see Louis, Louis Guzman. He was the other the, the Mexican gangster guy. Oh, son of a... What is it? You're getting a call? Yes. Son of a, yeah, but um, and I also yeah. liked uh, Kane Peel or also they were two characters in this. Were, <laughs> yeah, that's they right. Were, there was the guys who were trying to get the cat, and then there were the Allentown guys who were also trying to get the cat. <laughs> so basically, and supposedly there was an after credit sequence we missed where they get up or something. The Allentown guys are still alive. They get up and drive away. <laughs> so basically, they didn't kill any. Basically, Kane Kane Peel's character with the. Well, I'm not gonna say what happens at the end. But, but yeah, I I was really hoping that this would be a lot more funnier than it would it was. I was 
really suspecting like something really funny. Like, yeah, me too. Just, like, or at least just, where I would be laughing throughout the entire film, and I was just kind of. Eh. I was mostly cringing. Cringing? You were cringing? What do you mean cringing at what? Like uh, it was just awkward. Awkward. For me, most of the stuff was awkward. Like how? Like how did it make you feel awkward? Can't really describe it. Just awkwardness. But yeah. But yeah, I just... the cat was definitely the best part. <laughs> yeah, though. Well, Kane Peel were pretty good themselves too. But I, yeah, I definitely think the cat running away from the bullets and stuff. I, but yeah, I did expect this to be a little better than not that I, th- not that it's bad. I just no, I, it's not bad. Yeah, it's good. I and I, I would definitely wouldn't like if someone was like, I'm gonna go see it today. I would be like, no, don't. <laughs> like the boss. I it's might definitely be like, the don't. weirdest film I've ever seen. Yeah, it's it's weird. Definitely. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Um, Where are we? Where have you been? Sorry. Um, yeah, we've they... had someone exit and someone take a call in the middle of this review. I'm very sorry. So sorry about that. Um, they saw Keanu while I was dumb enough to see Hardcore Henry again. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kidding. I just really had to go to the bathroom. All right. Why? So. <laughs> well, I think Hardcore Henry's gone yeah. now, actually. Okay, so... I, I agree. I uh, I I was expecting to laugh more. I, I was expecting to, like, really just burst out into laughter at times. I never really did, but this was still pretty funny. Yeah. So well, we already mentioned. But I'll bring up some people that. So what did you think of Kane and Peele? Did you like them? As, yeah, they were. Funny? Yeah, they worked off each other really well. Even though they they are kind of a duo that's been done hundreds of times in other movies. Well, they didn't show. They had a show. They didn't really yeah. work. To, they. Had, I mean, Peel. Uh, K. Not Peel, uh, K, um, K, the, I forgot his full name, Keegan-Michael Key or whatever. He's been in a bunch of movies, but Alex Rubens, who, Peel or whatever, he hasn't really been in that many yeah. movies. He's mostly, but, but though they have been in a, t- a couple of other TV shows, like they were in the Fargo TV show together as well. That was a more serious role for them, and they were, they've they been in, like, other YouTube shows, like they guest starred two times on Epic Rap Battles of History. <laughs> they're, so they're, yeah, they've been... Around, so that's oh, when, and we also to mentioned be... Method Man, who which I said wasn't that great. He wasn't that great. He was all right. He was he's a rapper. He was in. He was Cheddar. <laughs> to be fair, there are a bunch of of like lines of dialogue that have been done before, but they're done in a satirical way because this movie, it's it's basically, it's basically a movie where like someone someone goes missing and there are, and so two guys have to. uh have to like find the person who was kidnapped, like this you know, taking stuff. Except it's a cat that they're looking for. Yeah, well, and... I think my favorite parts definitely of this film were either the all the silly stuff for the cat, and yeah. the parts where where Keegan Michael Key was with the gangsters, and they're all bonding over George Michael music. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> that was, one of the funniest. Was, I just because I especially love how they were bonding because these guys are like these. You, when you see gangsters, you see like these guys who shoot, who just kill people, who and for drugs and stuff but they're just so <laughs> so silly and just like i really liked that that conversation between uh b- between uh ral and uh, and high c where it's like a really cliche it's uh, again it's a really cliched conversation except they're talk they're arguing about who did the killing <laughs> i feel like the uh, there's a ca- i'm not gonna say who it is but there's a cameo by a by an actor that everyone, that not everyone, but some people will go, I know that person. Oh my God. It'll be, you know, and there's the only, the only other person, well, there's them. And then there's Louise Guzman, who I didn't think was going to be in this movie at all. Though we already, everyone already knew Will Forte was in this because they saw the trailer. He was the 17th, 17th street. Yeah. <laughs> the 17th street flips. That's where they are. But yeah. So, um, so you, were you going to say something else before I cut with what my favorite parts? You said you were going to say something else about the film, I think. Pop. Um, yeah. I, I was also going to add, um, th- this movie is kind of padded, though. Um, like uh, like the, the sequence at uh, Anna Ferris's house. I just gave away the cameo, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yeah, okay. And the, that, that kind of went on for a while. And in fact, in fact, the movie... The movie goes on without ever, 
without ever mentioning the cat for a while, that I started to wonder, did we forget what the main objective is? Well, that, that, well, it, it, that also had my favorite scene where the where Keegan Michael Key was talking to the gangsters. Well, it was just mainly that they're they're because to get the cat, they had to do this whole thing to get sell the drugs. That was cr- <laughs> she she was old, like what? She's crazy. I just love the I just love the joke about scary the scary movie movies for the fifth one because she got too old, which I don't think that was the truth. Why they didn't? She probably didn't want to be in it because it sucked. Because <laughs> yeah. I because if someone was like scary movie five and they gave me that script for that movie, I would have been like nope. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I definitely, I, yeah, I, I was, I, I do think, I did suspect a lot better from this film, but I still liked it. I mean, I would definitely, yeah. like, I, I was telling, I don't know if you were here for this when I was talking to John about it, where that, it's definitely a film that I wouldn't, like, that if someone was, if I met somebody who said they were going to see it, I wouldn't be like, no, don't, 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 like, The Boss or maybe Mother's Day, even though I haven't seen it, but you've yeah. seen Mother's Day and you didn't like it, so yeah. I was like, I, I would, like, I would, even though I haven't seen Mother's Day, I wouldn't recommend anyone yeah. see that thing. This is this is a good alternative to Mother's Day. Yeah. 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 This is definitely one of those movies you kind of have to see to believe, you know? Mm-hmm. Kind of. Well, it's not like, it's not like there's, just, it's not like there's, like, a weird scene or, like, someone floats or something, <laughs> or something extraordinary. <laughs> oh, or except for that. You kind of do. No, there's that... no, 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 no. The, when he, tri- when he, like, trips out on that, on that holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, and he like uh, floats through the <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, line yeah, yeah, of people, yeah. the then trip. goes into like a uh, a trip. George Michael music video. <laughs> Actually, that was that was pretty clever. Yeah, I guess if I did have it. a problem, I don't particularly like George Michael's music all that much. I mean, Freedom's all right, but most of his songs, like I don't like Faith all that much, and that's like his okay. favorite song. And yeah, that's, that's the one that's played the most. Yeah. Though they played Father Figure twice <laughs> and Freedom twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really laughed at the uh, the Matrix part where <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. there's a guy sitting on top of like oh, one say, of those don't giants. Say, just say uh... the there's a Matrix scene, but don't spoil. Okay. Well, we spoiled the Anna Faris thing. We don't want to okay. spoil because there's another celebrity <laughs> king. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to spoil that one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Some jokes that people need to see. By the way, uh, you you guys missed uh, the after credits scene. There there, yeah, no, there we, are these two there are these two them. other guys who are also played by. Oh, by Key and we already Julia. mentioned all that. Actually, yeah, already mentioned he already it. Mentioned oh, okay, it. okay. <laughs> well, you were out <laughs> about how uh, they they get they get shot like several times. They get up, shot more, and then you think that these, they're uh, dead. Gangster but... guys that the because the, the, the whole thing, the reason why they don't they, they um they don't shoot Key and Peel right away is because they think that these other gangsters from Allentown, who are actually also played by them, they're like these weird guys with like long dreadlocks who can like flip and shoot everybody. And there's a scene where they actually catch up with Key and Michael Key because they're looking for the cat. Which are also played by the same people, and then they, so they they end up actually so the the two main guys who played by Keegan Peel actually shoot the Allentown boy guys, and so then they keep and there's they keep going back up, and then they shoot them again or whatever. It's really, but it's yeah, it's really it's a really funny movie though. But yeah, I just didn't laugh as much as I want. So yeah, do you want to wrap this up, or do you guys have anything else to say? Um, that's uh, pretty much it for me. Yeah, that's it for me. All right. Well, there might be something. Except for that, except for that, um, at the men, at the end, they mentioned that Keanu has this disease that. Oh yeah. That's real. That's a real. What? That's a real. That's a real. Yeah. A cat stays young forever. I mean, I know cats have nine lives, but stay no, 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 young forever. No, they don't grow out of the kitten stage. Oh. Okay. Really? That's, that's real. Really, that's a thing. The, that's a thing. I know that's a real thing, but I, but that's that was actually that um some other problems. I guess I did. There were some jokes that did, that kind of fell flat. Like that joke, it was like, huh? Like why is that important? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's just like it, it was at the point where it's just like okay, maybe I want to wrap right, this well. up maybe or something. It's just like yeah, it's just yeah. Maybe they, I don't know. It was just, also, the whole thing with his wife at the end, she's just like. He punches a, the guy who's been weird. I, I kind of wanted to know what the guy did that was kind of weird. Like, did he actually do anything? Like, I'm not saying I want to see it, but, like, what did he do? Like, it, it just he just punches him and says, like, let's do it. Kids stay in the car. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and then the next time then the next time you see her, she's, like, he's in jail or whatever. And she's all hot, attractive. And it's just, like, I don't know. It's kind of weird, especially because I like me in the long. And then they just kind of use her as a joke at the end. I, was kinda, mm, I thought yeah. that was kind of lame. Other than that, yeah. As, it, like I said, I thought there were some jokes that were a little that did fall a little flat there it's just like that's not funny eh. but most of the was i think was hits for me anyways all right this 
Uh, you want to go first? Yeah, okay. Um, final. So final thoughts and grading? Or? I'd probably give it a very strong B-. minus. I mean, I almost want to give it a B, but uh, I don't know, on the uh, on the factor facts I do, I would, yeah, yeah, thereabouts, yeah. This is definitely, yeah. I have to say, this is definitely one of the weirdest films I've ever yeah. seen, but it's in, like, the enjoyably weird. Yeah. So I'm going to get, I'm going to give this, like, B. All right. You know? Yeah. yeah. Me too. B, B sounds good. I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as I thought like it, I, I thought I was really gonna like this film and it, it was just it was good but it wasn't amazing like I thought it was especially because this has the highest grade as like an 80 something grade 74 last time I checked uh, 74 okay so it yeah. dropped a bit last time I checked it was like 80 something yeah but yeah this is I don't know not everyone's gonna love this film some people are probably not gonna yeah. like it and think it's too raunchy or something like that but I don't know I liked it I thought well no it wasn't too raunchy for me and you, yeah. you know me yeah, I know. I'm not saying it's too raunchy, but it might be. Some people might see it as yeah. too raunchy. You never know. Because I've seen more. I've seen like I saw the Brothers Grimsby. That movie was really raunchy. <laughs> but yeah, that was. And there's. I've seen like way crazier stuff. Hell, even that Hangover. The last two Hangover films were terrible. Yeah. T- two and three were terrible, and those were like really raunchy. So, but well, but I give it a B as well. So. Okay. Well, we do have. Uh, we do have some new trailers like. Uh... The new Ninja Turtles trailer? That, so, what do you guys, well, well, you, I'll let you talk about it first. We'll talk about it later. I still don't know about <laughs> Ninja Turtles. I'll see it maybe for Casey Jones, but that's about it. Why yeah. you want to see for Casey Jones? Actually, he's my, Casey Jones is my favorite Ninja Turtles character. Huh. You, yeah. know who, you know who, um, plays, uh, you know who plays Casey Jones, right? Yeah. Stephen Amell. Yeah. yeah. That, I'm not sure about that casting, because Stephen Amell's a really bad actor. He's he's terrible. Like he's just really bad. I'm so I'm a little nervous on that casting. But other than that, I'll give him a chance. Yeah. And also, he doesn't have the long hair like he used to with Casey Jones. But that's all right. Yeah. This movie does look about as fun as the original. There, were the original. Only, yeah, the uh, the the first Ninja Turtles. I you know, year I and a half ago. I yeah. didn't like that film so much, mainly because there was a lot of. Um, they had to reshoot and do a lot of stuff. It, the, um, yeah. So uh, this one definitely looks better because it looks more complete. It looks more like and they uh, they because like, the, 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 there was the whole thing with Shredder that they didn't want to. William yeah. Fickner was white and so they they changed that and yeah. they were supposed to be aliens. They changed that too. Well, well just, that that wasn't uh, that was a change that happened before production. Okay, but it just there's a lot of other stuff that happened and that were just kind of weird. So the first one had some good moments, but it was. Right. It was a little. Also, the director Jonathan was is not a good director. I don't like him at all. And yeah. this one, Dave Green. I mean, even though I haven't seen Earth Echo, I've heard it has some good moments. So I'm gonna. And this one looks fun. I'm gonna yeah. give it a maybe still. But yeah. other than that, yeah. What do you guys want to give it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna say yes. I, I'm gonna I give it a do, maybe. I actually do think that uh, Splinter looks a little better than he did in the other one. Though yeah. another thing that also bugs me is it's called Out of the Shadows. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah. Out of the Shadows, which is the exact same name. As the the crappy video game that was made, uh, the, the, not for okay. the movie, but it was like I think it was like the pr- promotion for the new TV show. Which the new TV show is really good. I don't think the new movie is going to be as good as the TV, the TV show that's going on now. But hey, really, especially because yeah. David, especially because David Tennant's in the new show now, he's guest starring Wait, what? Like this alien <laughs> guy. Yeah, David Tennant, <laughs> <laughs> and of course Rob Paulson. Yeah, Rob yeah. Paulson's in it. But it's but it looks interesting. Even though I think even though I understand why they called it Out of the Shadows, it should have. I don't know. I just thought that I don't know. But um, let's move on. What's another new trailer we saw? Um, we had the trailer for what was that one? When the when the bow breaks. That looks bad. Eh, kind of. <laughs> no, for me it has. Because... It stars Angela from Paper Towns. It's um, and it's not eh. like I, I, some people might think because uh, I, when I said that I kind of <coughs> thought you thought it was a race thing. I was like it's another one of these movies. And it's not. I don't have any problem with like a film with all black actors. That's not my problem. My problem is that it's just another th- seduction thriller or just a really bad thriller with an all black cast because they're they're using it as a marketing tool because they don't. It's just a lazy movie that they're just like, oh well, yeah. they make mo- they put let's put all these black people in the movie and we'll make lots of monies. <laughs> it's just like it's. I think that's a. It's the like same thing with chick flicks and stuff. You shouldn't just. I don't know. It just looks really bore, lazy and boring to me. I don't care. I've seen yeah. Billy of these a perfect guy a bunch of them it's just i'm done with them now all yeah, right 
And Ma- I suppose I feel bad um, for Maurice Chestnut. That guy, that's all they've cast him in now is just really bad, like, seduction thrillers now. It's like, you can't give the guy, can't think, you can give the guy something else, can't you? <laughs> yeah. But, so, I give it a no. What'd you guys give it? Um, I don't know. Mm, not really. Mm. Yeah, I'm oh, not going to yeah. go see it. I'm probably just, it's pro- yeah. probably going to be released in January. I wouldn't be too surprised. <laughs> um, no, I think, no, it's coming out in September. Oh, never mind. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm still not going to see it anyways. Yeah. And we got um, a new one for The Conjuring 2. Yeah. What about Birth of a Nation? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that, uh, it's a, what's really, what's really strange is that it's, it's a movie about slavery, and I think the no, title... No, what's strange to me is it, it's a remake. No, 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 it's not a remake. I mean, I looked this up, it's, it's not a remake. The reason that they're using that title is that it's supposed to be kind of ironic, because... Because the original Birth of a Nation from 1915 oh is infamous as oh, being the most I've racist s- movie of all time, and so I've seen and that. so th- I've this seen, is a movie I've about seen, I've seen the I've seen that one like, I've seen clips of it. I've seen no I've yeah, seen the I've whole seen. thing that that sucker is racist yeah but the whole three hour most... version it's like three hours long yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so this this isn't a movie about the Klan it's about people living in slavery yeah 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 I've heard about but it but... why that oh yeah the whole irony thing. Yeah. But I think it looks, um, it looks okay. It looks, I don't know, it didn't make me, like, 12 Years a Slave had an interesting trailer. I'm not sure about, this one I'm a little nervous, I'm not so sure about, but it could be good. It looked better than the, the thriller that came the trailer only, before. It, the only movie about. to paint the clan as a good, as break. heroes. <laughs> wow. But, um, All right. yeah, it, I'll give it a maybe. I'm still on the fence about it, but I'll see what happens. I'm gonna say yes. Maybe. All right. We'll see. All right, so, so half an hour to Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Conjuring 2, by the way. We oh, yeah, the oh, yeah. new trailer. It's still a yes for me. I love the first one, so I'm going to see the second. Yeah. <laughs> I love G- I don't know. I, I kind of think it's going to be another uh, another sequel that's just jam-packed with jump scares, you know, like Sinister 2. Although I actually liked Insidious 2 more than the first one. Well, th- but this and is that was James, James Wan James, too. Yeah, James Wan so. uses jump scares pro- in the right way, and he sometimes he doesn't even use jump scares. He's very good, but he only keeps jump you scares know, in I, there I, I, because it, because then most people probably wouldn't go see it because they would probably stop seeing it. Like the witch, the witch did okay at first, but then once fans are like, "Oh, this isn't this doesn't have the what I'm used to from horror movies. I'll go see something. That, I want to see a real scary movie like it." It's about as scary as Lappy. <laughs> but, but, um, but this definitely looks looks alright. I'm giving it a yes because I like the first one, and I think this one looks good. Even though I've also learned about the true story and how there's been a lot of controversy behind it, the how how that it probably was faked or whatever like that hmm. because. Ed and Lorraine Warren weren't the last people to investigate this thing. They were well, they were like in the middle, and then I think Wait, a bunch of people mean, investigated mean, it afterwards yeah. too, or something like that. So it's isn't it the one where Ed, Ed dies? Like that's what it's whole the whole setup. What this trailer sort of sets it up as? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. So. I don't think so. gotta look that up. Yeah, probably look it up. And I didn't know they were the ones who did the Amityville. Well, house. I think they were involved. They were. They were involved in it. I don't think because there were a bunch uh-huh. of people. I think there was a bunch of paranormal investigators who n- investigated that. They were just one. I think they were just one of them. Okay. Okay. Which they still got to release that cur- the new one <laughs> with the girl who's going to be in Ratchet who voices one of the characters in Ratchet and Clank. What's yeah. her name? Um, um, Bella Thorne. Yeah, Bella Thorne. She's in Ratchet. And Clank. Okay. She's one of the. But what? What? Uh, so I gave it a yes. What well, you guys give it? You guys didn't say anything. Um, yeah. Sure. Mm, probably. Maybe. All right. And okay. I think there was another one. Wasn't there another trailer? No. Uh, there might have been. Got to bring my notebook. Uh. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Um, All right. So, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Time to rip off some Armageddon tagline. <laughs> <laughs>